Not all real estate agents are created equal. Some real estate agents screw the pooch. Some real estate agents make big mistakes. And you know what you do? You know what you do? You hire me to go in and help them out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no, that's not why you hire me. You hire me to go in and kick the crap out of their dead carcass and beat them into submission so you can make more money on your deal. When they screw up, we go for the jugular, and I'm going to teach you how to do that right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise. Today's show is from a guy, Dirty Sanchez. He's an investor from California. He has chosen to invest with me and my company because we find properties in the best cash flow markets in the USA, and then we handle all the property management, right? Find your low-cost properties. Today, Dirty, I'm going to get you a deal. You're only going to need 12 grand. 12 grand is all you're going to need to put into this. Now, I'm going to run the numbers for you as a bird deal with a cash payment, but it's honestly not probably in unlivable shape at this time, so if you really wanted to, you can go in just up front with a loan. But I'm going to teach you how to beat this seller and his agent into submissions, Dirty. They screwed up. They jacked up, dude. They made a huge, grave mistake. And because of that, because you hired me to be your boots on the ground, because you hired me to be your paid assassin, I'm going to go in there and do what I do. I ain't here to be their friend. I'm here to put money in your pocket. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to take advantage of their screw-up right after this. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's gonna be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's gonna be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back. Now, not every real estate agent is created equal, folks. I happen to think I'm one of the best. But don't take my word for it, folks. Take the $200 million in investment property sales. Yeah, I know a thing or two about this game. And here's the thing, which y'all need to understand, and what a lot of people don't know is uh, in real estate, nationwide, right? I don't know the exact number, but it's around 90% nationwide, annually. 90% turnover, okay? What that means, folks, is if you meet 10 real estate agents this year, next year, probably only one of them is going to continue to be a real estate agent, right? Wow, that's a lot of people failing at the business, okay? So what does that mean for you? It means this guy right here ain't going nowhere, right? All right, I ain't going nowhere. I'm in the 1% of the 1%, and you get my skill set for you. I am your hired gun. I am your freaking assassin. And what I am going to help you do is assassinate these people for a huge, huge screw-up, right? We are going to take advantage of this because they, they done jacked it up. You done screwed up, A.A. Ron, all right? We are going to turn this deal into a bird deal because these people – they screwed the pooch. They flogged the dolphin. They chimmied the changa. I don't have any more. I was trying to think of some. I don't I don't have any more. So I guess I'll just continue with the mathematical equation. <laughs> uh, 618 Brownwell, uh, Lorraine, Ohio, 44052. This thing has been on the market forever. 153 days. Listed at a pretty low price, 69.9. Should have sold. Okay? Should have already sold. I'm going to try to beat them down for you, get an even better price. I'm going to try to pick this thing up for you for 55. Why? Cuz they screwed this thing up, right? What do we have here? Picture 1, picture 2, which is just like the dude moving over to the left a little bit, and then picture 3, he moved over to the right a little bit. Okay? Yeah. Great work. The reason, reason this dude's only got three photos of the outside, which is essentially the same photo, just homeboy moved over a couple feet, is because it's tenant occupied, right? Tenant occupied, okay? So like two kinds, two kinds of people in the world that could buy houses. People that want to live in them, people that want to rent them to tenants. 
I guess theoretically there could be like other types of buyers. Like you could buy it for a marijuana grow house, for instance. Uh, you could buy it as a trap house to run uh, sexual favors out of. You could uh, sell drugs outside of marijuana, right? You could grow marijuana. Well, you could actually run it as a marijuana grow house, right? But not actually a retail front, right? It could be you know, just your grow front, right? Then you could also run it as a retail establishment, you know, selling all types of great things. Marijuana, heroin, cocaine, crack, ecstasy. Uh, I'm trying to think of some others. I don't, I don't know. Meth. You could cook meth in it, right? You could break and bad the son of a bitch, right? But more or less, two kinds of buyers. People who want to live there themselves, real estate investors like you, right? And this guy screwed the pooch. Got this tenant-occupied house. No pictures. Don't worry. Not that big a deal. It's often common. Tenants don't like you coming in there, right? So we already know that half the buyer base is gone, right? We're going to assume all the trap house and the drug dealers and stuff. We're going to assume they didn't want to buy this house. Now we only have two kinds of buyers, the investors and the people that want to live there. Well, all the people that want to live there, they're gone now. They don't care. They no longer want this house because they can't live in it because it's got occupied by a tenant, right? And then all the investors, what do they care about? Well, they care about how much it's renting for. This dude didn't even bother to put that. Ah, geez. It's okay, though. Your boy Jay Wise putting in the work for you. Reach out to him. Hey, bruh, you got this tenant-occupied house. You ain't got no pictures. You ain't got no description of the mechanicals. You ain't got no description of anything that's going on. But uh, can you at least give me how much the tenant's paying in rent, right? That might be something I'd want to know, right? Friggin' four or five months ago, I guess, tenant moved out. He's like, yeah, tenant moved out. We don't have a tenant anymore. It's vacant now. All right. And that that is where we take advantage of the fact that nine out of ten people ain't going to be real estate agents. Two kinds of people, folks. Two kinds of people could buy this. Investors and owner-occupants, right? Landlords are people that want to live there. All the people that want to live there, they're gone because he never updated his listing. Still listed as a tenant-occupied property with no pictures. So they're all gone because they still think there's a tenant. There ain't. Landlords, after they reach out to them, well, they don't want it anymore either, right? So that's why we're going to try to lowball them, and I think we're going we're gonna to do it. Because at this point, the seller's got to have no faith that their property's ever going to sell. They used to have a tenant paying them rent. Now the tenant's gone. They're 153 days on the market. That's why we're going to hit them for 55 k I think we can get it done, right? I feel like they're getting desperate at this point. Six months into this, they're like, God, dude, what's wrong with my property? Why, why does nobody want my property? It's a good property, most likely. Now, we have, like, no info on the inside, obviously the agent, not much help. All they said was it needs TLC. That's realtor speak, right? TLC stands for tender, love, and care, right? That's realtor speak for it's probably pretty jacked. Uh, 25K is the budget I'm going to put on this. We had somebody live in there. 25K, my team can go in and knock out an interior renovation top to bottom, making it look good, right? That's not going to include, like, foundation issues, right? We can go in and cosmetically get the thing ready to rock and roll, ready to pass Section 8. Floors, walls, new fixtures in the bathroom, matching fixtures and, like, you know, new-looking cabinetry and appliances in the kitchen, right? One color throughout, most popular color, right? Probably agreeable gray, white trim, refinished hardwoods throughout. If we don't have hardwoods in there to refinish, we're going to do a vinyl allure flooring, right? Just, you know, a rental. Check out the Cleveland Area Houses for Rent show, uh, here on Holton Wise TV uh, to see what a lot of our rental properties look like, right? We try to, you know, systemize things, and a lot of them look the same, right? We use a lot of the most popular items you can get from suppliers, right? Because that's what appeals to the masses, right? We're going to make it look like that, okay? We could pretty much do that uh, for 25 k Now, that's a ballpark right now, right? We're going to do the inspection. Of course, we're going to make this offer contingent on inspection. If we then find there's other major issues, maybe we need to do a roof. It's okay. I know how much roof costs. That's seven grand. Could be up for negotiation. Maybe we need a furnace, okay? Probably be like three grand. Hot water tank, maybe a grand, right? I can go through that stuff with you, right? If there's a major structural issue in the basement, eh, we're probably going to kill the deal. Probably not going to work. It's going to be cost prohibitive. But 25K more or less, right? So that means we're all in at this thing for 80. It's a four bedroom, meaning we'll be able to get a Section 8 tenant in there for about 12 hundo, right? After you run your fixed and variable expense estimates with my team running the management for you, you should be getting a clear NOI of about 8,100 a year. 
Now, here's where the good part gets, right? The house in reality now is probably worth about 90K. This is a nice, solid C-grade neighborhood. We got two brand new naval bases getting built over there. Very, very nice area. Should appraise for about 90, right? I would have no problem selling that for 90. Meaning the bank will give us back 67 and a half, meaning you only leave 12,500 in the deal. That, folks, is the 37.4% return on your money. All because right now the seller's offering it to two kinds of buyers both of which are not happy with the product they're being offered, right? That's what I do. That's why you hire me. I do the deep digging, and I'm freaking polishing turds, turning them into diamonds, right? Other people, you know, through millions of years of, like, pressure, like the earth turns, like, coal and carbon, I think, into diamonds, right? That's how you get diamonds, well, your boy Jay Wise, I don't turn coal into diamonds. I turn turds into money. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.